There's a new trailer that came out recently for Bluey's 28 minute episode that revealed that Brandy was pregnant, causing tons of fans to celebrate, but also a ton of fans to get really upset. This was from a trailer that was only available to view in Australia, and funnily enough, all international releases for this footage tries their best to crop Brandy's belly out of frame, with even the original trailer being marked as unlisted on the official YouTube channel for ABC, most likely to keep it a surprise, but because of how surprising of a reveal this was, it has already spread to all corners of the Bluey community. Thanks, Bluey! And has sparked many discussions on the direction on Brandy's character. I started talking about Bluey due to my history of working with kids in a therapeutic setting, which has inspired me to start this series. And a very popular opinion that many fans share is that this new chapter in Brandy's character arc undermines and defeats the purpose of the episode onesies that explored the difficult and complex feelings of infertility. Why can't she just have the thing she wants? and some even say it ruins the representation she provided altogether. While this was a thought that briefly crossed my mind, I decided to take some time to truly think about it all, and ultimately found that although it's a path that I wasn't expecting, what? it's one that I feel still keeps her character intact as being a good representation for infertility, so I wanted to share my thoughts on the subject with you buddies. I think the best place to start is briefly talk about what infertility is and the individuals I've encountered in my life with it. A common misconception I see regarding infertility is believing it's the same as being sterile, which means to be unable to conceive children. The reason I bring this up is because I see some people saying that it's impossible for Brandy to become pregnant due to her infertility. They're beautiful. While infertility causes difficulty in the conceiving process, this does not mean that every individual with infertility will never get the chance to become pregnant. However, the chances are still low without considering the expensive medical procedures such as IVF. The difficulty in discussing the subject comes from the saddening thought that individuals who share the same condition don't get to share the same results as each other. It's just hard seeing you all, you know? Which causes a big divide in how you can approach your viewpoint on Brandy eventually becoming pregnant. But what remains constant for the episode onesies is this period of time where you experience these heartbreaking emotions of seeing the ones around you have the things you long for. There's something Auntie Brandy wants more than anything as well. I've had people in my life with infertility that has come to terms that they'll never conceive a child until years later they become pregnant. While at the same time, I've had people in my life that try all they can. And to put it simply, they never get the same opportunity. But both groups can still resonate with the aspect of infertility that onesies showcases due to the raw emotions on screen. It's all good, Brandy. For the context of onesies, I believe that it will always remain an episode others look at that shows the true face of how complex your emotions can be when experiencing infertility. And I even have an entire video discussing those aspects if you'd like to check it out on the top right. But not everyone with infertility gets the opportunity to conceive a child like Brandy. But for those who have this condition and then succeeded, it could be another way for the crowds of people to resonate with Brandy, seen as this is an aspect that sometimes occurs with infertility. Onesies will always have the same impact because it's so true and earnest to those emotions people have during these long periods of not being able to bear a child, or for those who just simply never get the chance to. Are you okay? Yeah. I will be. So I don't feel like this new chapter in Brandy's character defeats the entire purpose of onesies, the representation she provides, or the messages told within. A big part of what made onesies so powerful to me is that despite the immense struggle Brandy goes through that entire day because of how hard it is to see the children for her. Look, I have to go. This was a mistake. No, Brandy, I'm sorry. Don't go. She still has the strength in her to push through it all in an attempt to keep the one she loves in her life and admit the difficulty she feels to her sister, Chili. I'm sorry, Chili. Oh, you couldn't have known Bingo was bananas. No, I mean, I'm sorry it's been so long. Oh. It's just hard seeing you all. It showcases this impactful sense of vulnerability for Brandy that I imagine so many people can resonate with, while still encouraging a positive and hopeful outlook on things. By having her confront these feelings, while somehow still finding it in herself to rekindle her severed bond with her sister in a really beautiful way. Me and my sister Brandy made this dance up for our mom's birthday when we were kids. <laughs> In 
Infertility is no doubt complicated, and I understand those who feel like what we recently learned about Brandy takes something away for the way they resonate with her, and I don't ever want to dismiss that. Onesies will forever remain this bittersweet representation of infertility for Brandy, and really anyone who can resonate with the heartbreaking difficulties that is paired with it all. This new trailer doesn't cheapen anything we see within the episode, and I feel serves to showcase an aspect within infertility that sometimes happens in life. And I'm really excited to see how this new upcoming episode, The Sign, will fully tackle it beyond what we already seen within the trailer. With that being said, I hope I was able to communicate my thoughts appropriately, and I'm going to be ending this short video here. I would love to hear your viewpoint on how you view the episode onesies and even Brandy as a character due to this new revelation. But once again, I am going to end the video here. Don't forget to like, come, subscribe, and I hope you buddies have a great day. <laughs> bye bye.